Soil is alive. In one teaspoon of healthy soil, there are more microbes than there are people on the planet. Soil life is deeply tied to plant health, the water cycle, and to regulating climate change. By protecting soil life, we are protecting a lot. So how do we protect soil? Soil life does not like being broken apart or exposed to sunlight or wind. It doesn't like getting dried out, but it doesn't like being too wet either. It's important to know how much water your plants need throughout the year and to give them as close to that amount as you can. Not too little and not too much. Try to minimize disruptions like tilling or even digging whenever you can. Use a broad fork instead of a tiller if your soil is compacted. Chop and drop your weeds, that is, cut them up into pieces before they set seeds and use them as mulch rather than pulling them out, roots and all. Plant more perennials than annuals to provide deeper roots to help break up the soil. The best materials for shielding your soil from harsh elements, aside from living plants, are organic compost, composted wood chips, and leaves from your yard. They'll also make your plants healthier. These materials help add organic matter, that is carbon, to your soil, and they regulate temperature, help your garden hold on to a lot more water between irrigation cycles and rainfall events. They also act as a shield from heavy rains, erosive wind, and drying sunlight. It's also important not to harm the life in your soil with synthetic chemicals and fertilizers, but more on that later.